Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario RPG, back in the forest maze. Uh, I don't think I mentioned last time, but if you get lost in the maze, you actually go back to the, the starting point. Which I think to get lost, you actually have to go uh, down left. So, that's how you get lost and go back to the beginning of it, if you get lost, so. Or if you want to reset, uh, just whatever. So, which we're going to do so we can go the correct way, but we don't have Gino showing us the way forward. When we have to go back through again, so we have to follow the steps that we had before. So let's go this way, which takes us back to the save point. Okay, there we go. Now, let's go back in. And I hope I get this right. We need to go left. Left. Straight. Right. Uh... Oh, that's the end of it. I was reading the wrong one. It's fine. Uh, anyway, this is where we need to be. Let's go down this the stump here. And there is, uh, quite- there are five blocks here, so... Let's get these. A mushroom. A frog coin. And another mushroom. A flower. And another mushroom. That's pretty cool. That's- that's pretty good. Especially because there's a frog coin here that we need, so... Uh, but anyway, now we need to go back the other way, so... Okay, I don't know if it was the easiest way to get through this here, so let me go back here. Uh, so now, I need to go right, left, straight, right, left, left. There we go. That took a lot more time in uh, practice, but it's fine. This leads us back to everywhere else in the world, so. And now it's time to go to the pipe vault. Which, I mean, we could go to Moleville right now, but I actually want to go to the pipe vault. Because it's actually quite helpful. I thought we couldn't go to the Moleville yet. Ah, uh, but that's okay. Let's go down. Please, thank you. The pipe vault is an interesting level because it's kind of 2D based. Ah, I've jumped right into the enemy. That's fine. Sparky, let me get rid of you. Also, we have Gina with us still, which is good. And actually, it might be a good idea to give him an, uh, an accessory. Since that's the only thing we can really give him at the moment. Equipment. Uh, let me give him... Actually, it might be a... I don't know. Trueform pin might be good for... Mallow still, I think. Since he's a main healer, I guess. Maybe wake up pin or antidote. Well, I mean, those are the only ones there, but... Wake up pin prevents mutants... Yeah, I need that one. Because, uh... Gino's special attack is really good. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I, I forgot to mention before. Uh, Gino is good with attack, good magic attack. I would say bad at defense, but that's only compared to his other stats. He does have low m magic defense, though. He also has a high speed, and usually goes first at the beginning of a fight. So... That's all that, so... Ah, uh, but anyway, we can leave that for the moment. We can also see the... that we have the different coloured star piece now. A green one this time. To go with a light blue one, I guess, or... Aqua colour? I guess aqua. I'll go with aqua. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's keep going further into here. I think it's impossible to miss those jumps, possibly. Also, hello Goomba. It's been a while since we've seen a Goomba. Also, Thwomp. Wow, I didn't know that that could happen. I think I was caught off balance or something mid... in when I landed. Which is strange, but anyway. Okay, let me see if I can get up here. Nope, it might just be on if I'm still on the stairs. There we go. Made it. Um, oh, there's, so, there's so many enemies here, apparently. I'm tempted to just use, uh, what's it called? Thunder, but I can't use it because Mallow's third in line, basically. In the sequence of characters' moves. That's okay. Uh, let's go down... the second pipe, I guess. Okay. Also, these prior plants here can you can inflict, um... They can inflict Scarecrow, so we want to have the true form b pin on somebody. Uh, but anyway, let's jump up here and get this item here. 
Uh, the frog coin is in an interesting spot. Uh, but somewhere along here, there's also some more frog coins in these blocks. Hidden here, so let's grab those. Uh, but now, if we're running in over this way and then tap down at, ne at near the end, we actually slide underneath that block to get the frog coin there. So there we go. Uh, so now let's go... to the next pipe forward. And this minigame is horrible. Hey mate, step right up. Ten coins to do some Goomba thumping. How about it? Sure, why not? You know the rules? Nope. Thump a Goomba, get one point. Thump a sp sp thump Spiky and lose one point. Thump a Gold Goomba and get three points. If you get more than 20 points, you get a prize. Want to recap? No, I don't. It's basically just whack-a-mole. Just, it's pain. We need to stand in the middle. Get as many as you can, go. This is just not a fun thing to do. <laughs> Speaking of somebody who's had to grind, or who got a lot of points before realizing that this game can go on forever. Because every time you win, the game allows you to play on, but you have to get a new high score, basically. Ah, uh, but... Oh, careful. The high score just get, gets higher and higher. Also, I have 21, so I'm gonna just leave it. Ah, uh, so speaking as somebody who's played this for a, far too long... 20 points for a flower tab. 22 points, or how many the new high score is... For a flower jar. And then each new high score after that is a frog coin. But do not do this. I, I managed to get... Oh, I managed to get 37 points on this, and I do not want to do that again, because I hated it so much. But I do want to get some flower, fla fla other flower jar, so... This is just a weird minigame, especially because of the the controls on this, basically. You basically want to pick a, a direction and keep using that direction as much as possible. If you can. And swap between them if you need to. Uh, the gold ones are worth three, so those ones can be extra good to get, if you can manage it, but they usually go away faster than a regular one. This really is just a painful minigame that you do not want to play. I don't know how many I need. I'm assuming that's enough, okay. 25 is gonna set the high score really too- too high. You want to get as least as possible over the high score. That was some good thump- some thumping. Here's your prize. Next time, try and get 27 points. Yeah, because I got 25, the- the bar is high, which is not what you want to see. Ah, uh, let's get rid of... a mushroom. I don't need that many. I'm not gonna keep playing this minigame. It's gonna give me frog coins for playing some more, but I'm gonna leave that. If I need frog coins later on, I'm just gonna come back, maybe? Although there's probably a better way to get frog coins later on. So, uh, but anyway, let me just be careful of things. Also, I'm going to fight one of these piranha plants, because why not? We can't go down the red pipe, but, oh my goodness, there's five. Uh, but we can just, uh, I don't even have words right now, because I'm too mad at that minigame for existing. We can't fight the piranha plant here, so, but we can't go down the red pipe. Okay, they have a lot more health than I thought they did. That's not good. Scare- Scarecrow dust. You can't turn Mario into a Scarecrow. Now he can't do as many things. Oh, and there goes- There- there goes, uh- Oh, he missed. Okay, good. Uh, let's take something out if I can. I don't know. Mario can't do anything other than probably Fire Orb, so let me use that. I don't know how, if it's gonna be as strong, but it's all we can really do. To be effective. 43, not bad. Thunderbolt. Nice. They still- they're still going. Can't even block properly as Mari right now. Oh, and Gino's down. This is not going well. I probably should have fought some more earlier on in this area. I can't even use an item. Ah, uh, Fire Orb, please take care of it. Please. Nope, still going. 
Ah, uh, Thunderbolts. This could be bad. Could be. Okay, that's two down. Ow. They're so strong. Of course, I can block properly if I just time the block better. Can't do that. Do I want a defense? Or do I want a fire orb? I might fire orb since I've got a, a fair bit of FP still. And I mean, I can use a flower tab as well in a second here as well. So. It's also better to use the, the better flower things. Because then they, you have more to recover with the small ones. So. I'm going to do that if I can in a second here. I, oh. Getting low on health. Mario's back to normal. Good. 98. Very nice. And... 94. Done. And Juno gets back up because we won the fight. But he only has a little bit of HP, so... Uh, let me look at the, my items now. Since I went through a lot just then. Let's use up some of these mushrooms since I can. I'll use an extra one, why not? And let's use the flower box just because it's the best one we have. Which means we're going to have 30 at flower points. And it still recovers us either way, so... It's, it's probably better to use the better ones first. Probably. Just a little bit. Just slightly. Uh, anyway. Let's keep moving. Go down this pipe. Oh boy, this room. You see these white prana, like mini prana plant things? They... They're not fun. At all. If you... If they hit you, they don't start a fight. They just... They take coins from you, basically, so we don't want that at all. Oh boy. I'm, I'm gonna try and focus my attacks more on one if I can. There we go. And they just, they just take so many coins away from you if you don't do it well enough. Uh oh. Okay, juno has been scarecrowed. Ah, uh, so he can't use his regular attack, but he can still use his Geno Beam, which is good. Ah, uh, let's take out you, I guess. Doesn't really matter which order we take Matt in, so... There we go. Make sure you get rid of you. Okay, Thunderbolt. These enemies are a lot stronger than I was expecting them to be. Trying to s just use sleep on him? That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work at all. I don't know what you're trying to do. He's already scarecrowed, so he can't be inflicted with a second status. That would transform him into something else or something, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can only have one status at a time, so. Let's take out you. I'm just bad at timing this, apparently. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's take you out. Two more to go. Twenty-six. Nice block. Kind of, kind of. Okay. I can't, I can't do that. I'm trying to, I'm still trying to use my regular attack and I still can't do that. Okay. Seventy-four. Uh, I might actually use Mario by himself because I think if I do 104, yep. That's, a. Uh, yeah, that's that one down. There's just one left. Take you out. Just like that. Okay, maple syrup. Mario reaches level 8, which I mean, I think means we get some more special power. So let's do that. And we should be quite close to the end now, except there's also this room here, which is interesting. Mainly because of the... the, the small prana plant-like enemies. That still are coins, so... Uh, I'll use up some more F FP. Why not? I can't quite figure out what the timing is on this. Okay. There we go. Easy fight. Easy enough, at least. Mushroom. Okay, now for this fun stuff. We have to dodge all this. Uh, up here is a big coin block, but it's very easy to just get hit and lose more coins than you're gaining. 
so it's it's probably just not worth grabbing. Activate it at the very least so it's checked off, but don't, don't. Just don't try to get as many coins from it as possible. Unless you're very good at platforming and can make it back to the platform or something, I don't know. If you can do it without getting hit, good, good for you. Otherwise, probably not worth it. But anyway, we're almost at the end of this area now. So let's go down this pipe here. Which takes us to the surface. And behind this save block is an invisible block. With a frog coin in it, so... Let's grab that, but we're actually in a new area. We are in Yoster Isle. So, let's go into here and take a look around. Got these Yoshis that we can talk to. They make sounds. Ah, uh, but this one over here looks different. Ah, uh, but I think if we talk to this Yoshi here... Mario, glad you finally made it to Yoster Isle, home of the Mushroom Derby. Say, now that you're here, we could use your help. Please, talk to a few of my pals here and... What, you can't understand them? Well, hop aboard and I'll be your interpreter. We can now ride Yoshi around in this area. We can't take him with us, but it's, it's cool that we can do this, so... Boshi only raises one-on-one, -on -one, so everything... Everyone can't join us. Bummer. Hey, Yoshi. Think you can beat old Boshi today? Of course. Here, take my cookies. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Thanks, I've got a major support on my side, so I can probably win today. Got some cookies. We need these cookies to be able to do what we need to here. Boshi here is the fastest runner, but he is full of himself. Ah, uh, I see what you mean. Hey, there's a letter in here, but I can read it. Can't read it? Can't read it. Let me get off of Yoshi. Care to read it? Sure. Uh, honeymoon re reservations for two. Mushroom travel agency. <laughs> okay. I don't know why the Yoshis would need to know about it. Let's settle up. And let's talk to some more Yoshis. What? Are you cracked? Racing's my life. I could run all day. Anything in here? I don't think so. There's nothing in here. Okay. It would be so much better if we could all race together. It would, wouldn't it? Kind of. Except, probably not at the same time. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna save state here. Because this is a... This is a experience. So, you brought the cookies, alright? Consider yourself lucky today. You've got yourself a race. One on one. We have to use cookies to be able to race. It's a bit of a gamble. Hello again, get ready for uh, the R Mushroom Derby is coming up. Want instructions? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm giving in the instructions. Press A and B alternatively, alternately along with the rhythm. The tighter the rhythm, the faster you go. Yeah, uh, you hang on. Give me the instructions again. The faster you go, pre press the Y button during a race to eat a cookie. Its energy will help you go faster. One instructions again? No, I don't. This is just an interesting. This is a, this is an experience, especially if you ha are like me and have a slight delay on the music, which is what you're supposed to be in time with with your button presses. Keep alternating between the A button and the B button in time with the beat. Let's practice. It's interesting though because in practice, it actually works differently. One, two, one, two, one, three, one, two, 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 one, two. It actually just has a different rhythm entirely in the practice. You still have some problems. Come on, concentrate. We can practice some more, or we can race. But the thing is, in practice, if you mess up the timing, you just doesn't matter. If you've messed up the timing in the race, you get slowed down. It, it's 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 weird. So don't mash during the race. Tap to the sound of the symbol crashes. The best strategy I found was by an account called Tyler on YouTube. Here's a video showing the strategy. Link in the description. Uh, basically. The idea is to leave 
a space between presses by tapping on something outside of the buttons between A and B, so... Kind of slow taps. But anyway... Now, shall we go to the race? This is an, as easy as it gets, man. This is why I recommend save setting, so you don't have to go through everything again to get back here. Come on. It might even be better sometimes to not even look at the screen while doing it. Oh my goodness, I've lost already because he's made it to the goal. But I'm trying to figure out how to do this. If you lose the race... Hang on, I'll act, now I'll go back. <sighs> if you lose the race, you have to give him the, your cookies. Which means you have to get cookies again. Which the Yoshi will keep giving you more, so... Come back when you're serious. Now I think those cookies belong to me. Looks like I need a little more practice. Oh well, let's try it again sometime. So now comes me trying to get this to work a lot, because I'm going to struggle with this a fair bit. Okay. You know, I, my notes say to slap, uh, no, to tap slowly. <sighs> I'm mixing my words now, it's sad. Okay, let's go to the race. I'm going to set up a... hang on. I'm going to set up the save state at the race, so I'm at it when I need to. I think holding the button down also does more. Please. Cookie, save me. Cookie, save me. Cookie, save me. It's not going to save me enough, though. Come on. Come on, it's so close, it's so close! I won! Second try, somehow. Wow, unbelievable! You just beat Boshi! Starting today, Yoshi's the new boss around here. Since when have you been able to sprint like that? Oh well, I had my, my day in the sun. Let me give you a tip. Race someone slow. That way, you'll be able to stash cook away the cookies. But we don't need a boss. Anyway, I just want to race. Come on, Boshi. Let's see what you've, you're made of. Hmm? Alright. Just stay out of, out, of, out of my way. Oh, here's the cookie stash for the winner. We won. I can't believe it. We can race again, but the way it works is different now. So, it's, it's the same race. But now we actually have to place a, a number of cookies into it to bet who's going to win, which would be us. And then we go against three Yoshis instead of one, but it's about the same. I wouldn't spend more time than I have to, though. Uh, but anyway, thanks to you, Mario, I finally beat that rascal. And now we can, uh, we can all race together, now. Here's something to remember me by. And we get a Yoshi cookie. Next time you're in trouble, during battle, use this to give me a call. The Yoshi cookie is an actual item that we can use to uh, summon Yoshi in a battle so he can attack the enemy for us for a second. Uh, but we actually have three of those actually, so that's pretty good, but I, it's not that useful, I guess. But anyway, now that that's done, let's get out of here. I'm so glad that didn't take long because it took me so long in practice. I had to put on my like, my, my wrist brace thing in practice to- because I was killing my wrist playing that minigame. I'm sure somebody else has also had the exact same experience where, they, where they've hurt their wrist playing that. But anyway. Let's go to Moleville. I'm so glad that didn't take long. Moleville. Let's go into the inn so we can save now that we've done that minigame. It's important, trust me. Saving is very important. Just like that. We can also stay in the inn if we need to, which I know if we do. Ah, uh, let's stay in the inn. We're a bit low on, uh, what's it called? FP, but it's fine. And I will need to use those flower tabs, but for the moment I want to be full health and full FP, so. But there we go. 
Dinah went to the mountain with Little Might. But a star crashed into the mountain and now they are trapped. They be trapped. Okay. Well, we've stayed the night, so now let's go up left of tie the left of town to the shop. And let's see what we can get here. Come on in, don't be shy. Everyone's up the mountain, but I'm stuck minding the store. So what you need? Okay, well let's buy some new things. We can buy a punch glove for Mario, so he's got a better punch power. The finger shot, which is a new weapon for Gino. So he shoots finger or his finger shoot bullets instead of his whole arm. Uh, and symbols for Mellow. Scare enemies with a cra clash. It doesn't actually scare them though. There's also the mega shirt, mega cape, mega pants, and work pants. Uh, the cape is the regular armor for Gino. But the work pants is also something that all characters can wear, I'm pretty sure. So, all three of our characters can wear them. We've also got a new mushroom here called the Mid Mushroom, which recovers 80 HP instead of 30. And Maple Syrup, which recovers 40 flower points instead of 10. So we've got some pretty good stuff here. Uh, but anyway, let's equip our new armor. And I don't know what I want to actually wear right now. I guess it depends on how good this stuff is. Let's just put all this on. Cape. Okay, work pants, which is better for... It's actually better for Gina to have this work pants, so... I could probably even ditch the cape. Although I might hold on to it just in case I need it. For any particular reason. Also, weapons. So, punch glove for Mario. Finger shot for Gino. And symbols for... Mallow. Let me just make sure that they're... Yeah, that's, they're, they're all better than that. The stuff that we already had. Now let's sell the extra stuff. I might keep the froggy stick just to remember Frog Fuchsia's sacred, like, a gift to Mallow. Just as a, a random thing. We don't need to, but we can, so. Now actually, we might be able to buy a new one later on. I'm not entirely sure about that, though. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't listen to me if I was you, so. But there we go. Uh, let's see what else we have here. It's an emergency! Dinah's trapped in the mines! Okay. Uh, anyway. Let me see, is there anything here? Uh, let me see. Uh, I actually think I'm gonna give... Gino... The true form pin. That, that's what my notes say to do, so I'm gonna do that. I might also equip the antidote pin and get rid of the wake-up pin for the moment. So let's go with that. Uh, okay. Cool, uh, that's that's a, a pretty basic set of stuff now. Uh, now, what's over here? NPCs. A pretty star crashed down into the mountain. I wanted to see it, but my ma told me it was too dangerous. Ma said she'd go and find out what's happening. But she's sure taking her, her sweet time. Ah, uh, it's probably fine. Okay, well, there's not a whole lot else I want to look at at the moment. But hey, look, it's Bowser. Bowser, most of our allies have run off. What will we do? We've- we've only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. Shut up, all of you. I'm the biggest, baddest brute around, and don't you forget it. But if Mario hears that I've been kicked out of my own castle, my reputation will be ruined. Even I have an image to keep up, you know. Let's show him who's the boss around here. He seems to be missing a few troops. I'm sure it's fine. I'm pretty sure he had more than that when he started, but anyway. Let's head up here a little bit. To the top of the mountain. I knew it was bad news when that star fell on the mountain. Sure enough, it's causing trouble. The menfolk are doing their best from the, the inside. I'm digging in from the outside. We've got to help them folks out. Okay. Ah, uh, but I think that's everything else here. A star dropped into the mountain and trapped some kids inside. To make things worse, one of the menfolk be stuck inside too. Please, Murray, you gotta help us. 
What's happening up there? Is she still working up a sweat? Yeah, and so are the men. Everyone's digging and digging. I can't keep up with them. Oh. Okay. Makes me thought this is the same text before. Uh, but anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.